Hey, what's up everybody, Usama here. In this video, we're gonna learn how to set up recurring calendar appointments in Go High Level. So I'm in my Go High Level sub account and under calendars, I'm gonna use an example of a one-on-one -on -one sales coaching business. So the use case is we wanna create a calendar that we can send out to people enrolled in our sales coaching program and we're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if somebody selects a slot, we want that appointment slot to repeat every week on the same day and the same time. And that is where the recurring meeting option will come in. So I'm just gonna click on edit on this calendar here and then we're gonna dive straight into availability. So as you can see here, my availability is set from Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And now if I scroll down here, you'll see we have a recurring meeting option here. So we can toggle this on. Now in some cases, this toggle might be locked and you might not be able to use it. And there's a few things that you have to make sure that it doesn't happen. So number one is date specific hours. So if you have date specific hours set up, then the recurring meeting will not work because the date specific hours are custom and they will interfere with this option. Number two, you have to make sure that payments are not set up on this calendar because it doesn't work with the recurring meeting option. And number three, if you using a round robin calendar, you have to make sure that there's only one user in that calendar because if there are multiple people in there, the recurring meeting option will not be available. With that being said, let's have a look into these options here. So the first one is, of course, the frequency. So if you want to do daily, if it repeats weekly or monthly, you can set that. You can also do custom, like repeat every five days or seven days. That's up to you. For my example, I'm going to use weekly here because that makes more sense for me. And then we have how many times this should happen. So how many weeks should this go on? So it really depends on the program. In this example, I'm just going to use four. The maximum limit for now is 24. So if you go beyond that, it will not allow you to do. And I think 24 weeks is decent because that that's a long time so i'm just going to keep it to four now and then we have if slots are unavailable then what happens so go high level will give you three options so the first one we have is skip booking and available slot so let's say if the third slot or the third week the appointment time is not available then it will skip that third meeting or current so make sure you're selecting this according to your use case then we have continue booking so if you use this option it will actually double book so if you already have that slot booked and then this meeting is coming in it will double book it but it gives you an option to select the status so if it is overlapping do you want to confirm the appointment to the user or do you want to unconfirm it so if you keep it unconfirmed then of course, you'll get an option to manually confirm it by going to your appointment section and go high level. So it depends on that. Unconfirmed is usually a safe option because then you get a chance to decide which meeting you want to keep. And then the last option we have is book next available slot. Now, this is where it will come in. So let's say somebody tries to book an appointment for October 1st and they have four occurrences as per this setting, right? Now, let's say the third Tuesday of the third week is not available for the time they selected. Now, in this case, the calendar will look for the next available slot, which should be for the next week or the following Tuesday and the same time. But this will just make sure that they're still able to get an appointment date, but for the next available slot. And Go High Level by default checks for the next three available slots. So it will check for the three following weeks for the same Tuesday or the day they have selected and the time as well. So that is how it works. We'll further dive into it when I do the testing for this calendar. So that's it about the settings really. All we have to do now is hit save and we're gonna put this to test and see how the calendar works based on the settings we have selected here. So I'm just gonna close this out and then click on share, copy the link, and then let's open it. All right, so once the calendar opens up, you can see here that it says repeats every week for four occurrences. And for this example, I'm just gonna go to October here, and then I'm gonna book the first October here. So first of October, I'm gonna choose the noon time so I can actually imply that example that I was talking about earlier. Now, once I select that, you will see that it gives me the next four occurrences, so October 1st, then 8th, and then each following Tuesday until the fourth occurrence. So we have the same times everywhere. So this will be straightforward. But now let's say based on the setting we selected in the calendar where it will check for the next available slot, if that slot is unavailable, I actually want to make a twist here. So I want to keep Tuesday, October 1st available. This is also available. Right now, all the slots are available based on the setting because this is a brand new calendar. But let's say I actually intentionally make a dummy booking on October 15th and I make this slot unavailable so let's see what happens in that case now in order to do that i'm just going to head back here into my calendars here and then under calendars i'm going to select the one-on-one -on -one sales coaching calendar here and now i can see my schedule as you can see it's pretty empty right now so i'll just move along and for the 15th of october on tuesday i'm going to make noon unavailable intentionally so let's do that real quick let's call it dummy appointment i'm going to select a user here and then you can see this meeting is from 12 p.m. to 12.30. Now we're just going to intentionally block 30 minutes out. So, so let's book this appointment. So now if we come back here, I'm going to refresh the calendar. I didn't make this booking. So let's refresh it. 
Now, once it refreshes, I'm going to keep October 1st here and then click on 12 p.m. Now, you'll see on the left, it is calculating the next four occurrences and it should not give us the third Tuesday, which is October 15th. Instead, it should give us the next one because it will check for the next available slot on the next week. So if I click here, now you'll see October 1st. This is the first slot we have here. Then October 8th is available. Good. But then we intentionally blocked out this slot, right? So you can see it is turned red. It says that slot is not available. So the next time that user will get is October 22nd because that is the next slot that is available so we have actually moved one week ahead that one is cancelled and it has already checked for the next available slot so if this was not available then this would have happened on october 29th and of course this will have moved one week further so this is how the book next available slot setting comes into play now for the last part of this tutorial i'm going to talk about the automations and how the recurring meeting thing comes into play with the automations in place so now if you click on add trigger and then you talk about book appointment and I'm going to choose appointment status here. So here under event type, if you do not have a recurring meeting thing set up, then choosing an event type normal is fine. But if you're doing the recurring calendar appointments, you need to make sure that it is set to recurring. Otherwise, it will not work. It will work on any, but it will not work on normal. So you have to make sure it is set to recurring. And then, of course, you can add additional filters where you can select the relevant calendar here as well, which is always a good thing. So this way when a recurring appointment is booked, this workflow comes into action. So if you have these settings dialed in, you can easily control the automations for the recurring meetings as well. That was about this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and we'll get back to you.